Good afternoon and welcome. Today I begin construction of the last two projects. The kitchen and the kitchen door. And then the trailer is done. So here we go. Very different. <laughs> Very different indeed. I'm taking a picture of uh, the carpet and stuff with the white socks. I'm like, it looks. Like... Yeah, fat cat is in there. There was a nice breeze today, which is not always the case. Ah, the sun's in and out, as you can tell. Always good to keep a magnet pole on hand. Because anything you throw on the ground, you're going to step on later and bare feet. 100% guaranteed. Get yourself a staple spinner. So, I'll always chuck your bits on a magnet pole. Hi. How's it going? How's it going on here? And slowly, it's super hot again. It's humid. Ugh. Yeah. So, what have you been doing out here? Adding uh, routes for wiring. You okay? What's that? Now the wire is coming down from the upper turn signal, popping through the frame here, through the frame here, and then it comes out here. This is actually the source of the the turn signals from the front of the hitch. So now I gotta do the same thing on the other side. It started raining, which means I had to back the trailer into the garage, and now I've gotta set up the whole workshop in here. Cause it's Wednesday and we'd like to be camping next Wednesday. It has been several days since I started the kitchen and the weather has continued to be just terrible. Pouring down rain on and off. So I would like to try to get as much of the kitchen done today as possible. We'll see what happens. The finished wiring harness comes down through from two turn signal marker lights, front and rear into a junction and then goes down through the wall inside the quarter inch plastic tubing so that it's protected from any snags or rubbing against anything. And then it'll poke out the bottom down here on the side of the wall. Probably should cut an access panel in there for the wires. Mark my words, I will regret not doing that. Hmm. Should I do that now? I feel like maybe I should. No, and here's why. Because if something happens with those wires, I have to cut a hole anyway. Why cut a hole now if nothing's going wrong? It'll be annoying. I'll have to cut it anyway. So I'm just gonna go with it. All right, you want a regular 30 inch countertop? Which is it's this height. Yeah. That's or am I bad, 36? Yeah. 36 is a countertop, 30 is a table. 36 feet. All right, I got the first half of the ceiling, if we're gonna call it half. I got the left side of the ceiling. 
Let's see what we're working with. This is the main lift that comes in from the outside. And then there is a trough that goes across about an inch and a half. And then it comes back up about an inch. So what that allows is any rain water that's going to get in here, just going to go down to the bottom where it'll drain harmlessly, leaving the kitchen alone. Time now to replicate that same seal, but on the passenger side. side done and the driver's side done I now need to do the overhead seal this one has a little more to consider because the hinges are up there and so whatever hinges down into that area right at the hinge needs to be well thought out I'm just making this up as I go along I've been thinking about it for months but today is the uh, see if it's gonna work day here goes of what we're looking at. This is a trough that goes all the way across the top so that the water is channeled. I guess it's a channel. The water is channeled to the sides right then can exit out the bottom. The next task is to build the cabinetry for the kitchen which is I, honestly, that's the funnest part. I can't wait for that. But I had to get all this out of the way first. And I sort of go back and forth as to whether I should make the door next or the kitchen next. I'm covering my uh, access holes that I used to fish the wires through the frame for the front marker lights. Turn to the marker lights. Hi! So, the countertop is... Oh, now I can't see where the heck the countertop is anymore. It's roughly here. And then, you can have as much upper counter space, counter space as you want. How much do you want? Well, what would like, help I was you? Thinking, I was thinking a foot, like just a foot. What, what do you there. need to know to help you make that decision? Like, what are you going to put up there? And what are yeah. you going to put down here? Well, I don't know. What do you, like, should I tell you what I want to bring? Yeah. Okay, so I want to bring the hand mixer. I want to bring the griddle. I want to bring the iced tea maker. I want to bring a small cookie sheet, a loaf pan, the brownie pan, the skillets, the cast iron pan, the sauce pan, two pots, Mixing shrimp, bowls. Shrimp gumbo, shrimp burgers. <laughs> Mixing bowls. I feel like all that can fit in the lower cabinet. Okay, well then maybe the upper cabinets are. Oh, I'm also bringing so spices. Do you want there to be just one row spices, of these? Spices, gadgets for cooking. Will implements fit in those? Yeah. Um, measuring spoons, measuring cups. Basically, I'm bringing my kitchen in miniature. <laughs> Um, hot, so, hot holders, cut holders. Okay. Just one row of these is good enough. I could do two rows, but I'm looking at that. That ends up encroaching on the counter space. Probably one row is good enough? Yeah, I think so. And then we can put magnet bars or whatever you yes. think back there. Or yes. Thing that we okay. Plus, we want to bring at least one burner and the grill. Plus the cooking grate. Oh yeah. Because I can cook over a fire. 
I need room for cleaning supplies, foil, trash bags, dishwashing bins. This, do you want this to be divided at all or just one big shelf and we can throw anything in there? Whatever is easiest for you to build that's going to be the most durable. Okay. So if a divider helps it be durable, then divide it. I don't care. Oh, plates. We need a spot for our camping plates and... I figure they go up here. Come to a common understanding of what we want in the kitchen. Looks like we want small bins across the top. An abundance of those, which we have. And we want larger bins across the bottom. We had talked about making drawers and doors and trying to make it look all, um, you know, finished like a kitchen. And it turns out that's not Lindsay's preference at this time. We talked about maybe in the future, but for this trip, she really just wants pigs. And I'm down with that. Because it allows me to finish this project right away. Uh, so much quicker. How's that for a final layout? Oh, I was just coming out to ask to see. Yeah, perfect. most rewarding part of this whole project. The last of the exterior cladding. I put rubber gaskets around the whole thing and insert locks on the bottom and the back door is done. Then I'm on to about 30 little things on my to-do list. Little things that have to get done and uh, we're ready to go. The, the goal is to leave, well it's actually to leave tomorrow with nothing left on the to-do list for this to be just completely done and ready to go um, which you know it's honestly it's not 100% likely that that would ever happen on a camping trip ever but in this case I would like for the construction anyway to be done and that's it don't forget to check out our other videos on YouTube